You're lucky to be alive, John. After all you've done. I didn't summon any demon, Lady Isol. But I did poison the Arl, and that started all this. I'm willing to help if you'll let me. The demon in Connor needs to be destroyed. Killing Connor is the easiest way to do that, certainly. But there is another way. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade, without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt, and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade, then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages. But I have... blood magic. Blood magic is forbidden. No, oh, hold on. Uh, never mind. What difference does it make? Lyrium provides the power for the ritual, but I can take that power from someone's life energy. This ritual requires a lot of it, however. All of it, in fact. So, someone must die? Someone must be sacrificed? Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. Is there no other method? The power has to come from somewhere, and that means either lyrium or blood. Then let it be my blood. I will be the sacrifice. What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. To me, the answer is clear. Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two wrongs don't make a right. It does seem like a sensible choice, with a willing participant. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. It... Uh, it's up to you, my friend. You know more about such things than I do, and it's your companion going into the Fade. The decision is yours. <laughs> oh, yeah. There must be another way to enter the Fade. You can find Lyrium and more mages at the Circle of Magi, if they would even do it. The Circle Tower is not far from here. That is an excellent point. One of the treaties is also for the Circle of Magi, after all. The tower is about a day's journey across the lake. You could attempt to get the mages' help. But what will happen here? Connor will not remain passive forever. Perhaps not, then. Still, we must make a decision. I know what we must do. My son awaits your decision. Make it quickly. Let Jowen cast the ritual. Thank you. If this will save my son, then I am not afraid. Then, who will go into the Fade? One of your companions? Ah, you know what? I don't want to send Morgan in there. Change my mind, we're not doing this. Still, we must make a decision. I'm not sure the risk is worth it. Save my son and you will be rewarded. That I promise. His life is worth more to me than anything. Even my own. I know what we must do. My son awaits your decision. Make it quickly. I will go to the Circle of Magi. That's my decision. Very well. I will keep Jowan here as a precaution. He says he wants to help, so he will keep an eye on Connor with us. Go to the tower quickly, then. The longer you are away, the greater the chances of disaster. Okay. Uh, we have a decision that I could have made. And the easiest decision would have been to go up there and kill the kid. But I've never done, tried another option. There were three options you could do. You could go in there, up there, and kill the kid. You could also send one of your mages into the Fade to fight the demon that's possessing the child. Well, that seems like a... Oh, shit.
something I have never done before, but I always knew was a possibility, was to go and use um, the Circle of the Magi. See, the thing is, when you go and you like, you basically have to make a decision to sacrifice the mother or you sacrifice the child. Sacrifice the child by killing the boy. Sacrifice the mother by, uh, this is where I need to go. Sacrifice the mother by sending, by killing her to use her blood for the blood magic by Jowen and sending her, uh, sending a mage into the Fade. How did a child survive that? The crater is still smoking. It's a boy. Five fingers, five toes. That's all that matters to me. The Maker has answered our prayers. Let's go home, Marta, and raise the Tyke as our own. The fuck? Superman. All right. I'll take that, I guess. Moving on. But the third option does exist to use use the Circle of Magi. And the reason why I've decided not to, I, um, I haven't done this before, but the Circle will result in a, um, possibly saving both of them. If I can get the Circle's help to cast the power, use Delirium. Jowen needs blood magic to do it. Now, at the moment, the only mage that I can send in there right now, because the only mage I have, is Morrigan. Morrigan isn't going to want to do it, but she'll do it if I ordered her to anyway. So, I don't feel like killing the kid. I don't feel like sacrificing the mother. I'm going to try something I haven't tried before, and attempt to get the circle to help. As you say. Let's get Stain in here. Oh, blast it. Come on, Stan. There we go. Hmm, alright. Now that's the Tower of, uh, the Magi. Very well. I shall do it. So we just gotta go get them. Their help. You're the Grey Warden, aren't you? Exactly who I was hoping to meet. I represent a collective of mages interested in going about their lives without the constant scrutiny of the Chantry. Tell me more. The collective is a self-policing guild of mages who simply want to be left alone. We mean no offense to the Chantry, but we would rather live on our own terms. Next to me, and in every major settlement, you will find an inconspicuous sack containing requests from mages all over the land. Who need the assistance of someone skillful and discreet. I'll take a look at these requests. Thank you, my friend. We have agents in every major settlement to reward you for work done on behalf of the Collective. Make us smile upon you. The reality of being a mage in this world is not a terribly pleasant one. On one hand, you have magical power, which seems pretty freaking awesome. On the other hand, mages are persecuted against pretty severely, pretty harshly. And on one hand, this is a not an unfounded fear of mages, because, I mean, look what happened to the kid. The kid didn't know what he was doing, and abused his power and brought a demon into the world. On the other hand, I mean, it's kind of messed up to go and, uh, well, do this kind of thing that they're doing to people. On just on account of them having a magical affinity. Which is why you get certain people like Morrigan here who live outside of where, I mean, this prison pretty much that mages have to live in, being guarded by Templars like Alistair, what Alistair used to be. It's not a terribly pleasant proposition either way. Hmm, 
This could be useful. Okay, what do we got? Uh, mm, defense is lower. It's a small shield. It's also only a tier two. Right, I'll sell it later. Uh, the bridge is out, so we're going to have to find an alternate way of getting to the tower. What? I thought you were going to have a question or some shit. Maybe this guy over here can I can sell stuff to. Give that a try. Get rid of some of this garbage I'm carrying. Oh, I bless myself. What's a distinguished personage like yourself doing here? I was looking across, I was looking to get across the lake to the tower. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. No one's been allowed across the lake for days. I'm the ferryman. Leastwise I used to be. Poor old Kester. Out of a job. So I can get across. Gregor just came down and said, Don't you worry, Kester, we got it all under control, we do. Didn't say nothing else. And then he puts Carol in charge of my boat. Lissy, named for my grandmum she was. Who's Gregor? He's Knight Commander of the Templars up in the tower. Good man. So there is no way for me to get to the tower. You could try swimming, but I don't recommend it. Nasty things in that lake. I reckon it's all them potions they dump in there. Gregor's told me to stay here till it blows over, but I'm telling you, some storms don't blow over easy. I uh, thank you for your help. You're too kind. Your type don't usually give my type the time of day. It's because you are kind of a dumbass. Okay, I'm going to go talk to the Templar, and he hopefully will let us across. He's got a boat. Not a big one. But he's got a boat. You! You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. Why? I need to get to the tower. No one gets to the tower. No one. The tower is off limits to all. I need the first enchanter's help. No. I have one job and one job only. And by the maker's shiny gold cutlery, I will do it. The Maker probably doesn't have cutlery. Oh, and he's told you that, has he? Well, you're still not getting into this tower. As a Grey Warden, I demand to be brought to the tower. Oh, you're a Grey Warden, are you? Prove it. Prove it. Kill some Darkspawn. Come on, let's see some righteous Grey Wardening. <sighs> Don't be ridiculous. Aha! Uh -huh. oh, I knew it. I bet you can't even sense them. A real Grey Warden is supposed to be able to sense Darkspawn. I do sense Darkspawn. Oh, really? Oh, no, I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to think about this. Come back tomorrow. Maybe next week. Maybe never. Anyway, it was nice chatting with you. Now, on your way, right now, go. I warn you, my patience is wearing thin. Uh, is that bad? Look, I'm uh, just trying to do my job. I'll take you right now, just like you wanted. Yeah, please do. Come along, I suppose. Little wuss.